Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Taurus and any cross watchers. Welcome. Let's see what's going on um, in your energy. Thank you, you guys, for all of your love, your support, for your patience. Um, we've been through some really big transitions, um, but we are doing okay. Luna and I are okay. And I hope you are as well. Let's see what's going on in the general energy for Taurus. Let's see what messages do we have for the current energy for Taurus. What do we have here for Taurus? What's the current energy for Taurus? Okay, I see a little bit of procrastination or a feeling of giving up. Um... Let's see here. We'll get into these messages here. Um, we'll start with the blockages and then move on to what else is going on with uh, your energy, Taurus. But I see like um, there's some um, inability to let go of something, something that's ended um, or... I don't want to say inability to let go. Well, that sounds kind of uh, controlling, but just kind of not ready for a rebirth. It's, there's just some stuff that we're still holding on to. But let's go ahead and talk about um, our blockages, what's holding us back, and then look at what's good for us. Giving up, only looking at the problem, giving your power away, feeling helpless. Um, so it's time for you to look for creative solutions and resource to move forward. Think outside of what you have previously considered. Life is a long game. Don't just think small and for the short term. So again, it's kind of like, um, okay, now what do I do now? I'm stuck here. Um, clinging, clinging on to the old denial, unwilling to let go, decay endings, and being let, feeling like you're being left behind. Um, so... With that being said, as far as your blockages, um, we'll talk about what is a good reminder for you. We have this card, which means ask for help. Talk to your angels. You are a leader. You have a lot of protection, okay? Um, these goddesses are a, a reminder that no one but you has the right to say anything about your life and the choices that you do and don't make. They are yours and no one else's. Give yourself permission to be yourself. You are being reminded through spiritual work and self-love. You can claim your power every day for yourself, regardless of your gender, identity, race, or spiritual path. You are divine. So there's a reminder to, for you to keep believing in, in yourself um, in terms of you have a right to decide your life i mean this is your life whether it's a job relationship friendships um this is your choice okay um let's go ahead and see if we can get a better view here of what else is going on um for taurus what's in the current energy for taurus we talked a little bit about blockages current energy there's just a feeling of rejection or um like not good enough i also feel like some things have come to light some things that were maybe wanting to keep in secret or, or someone was hiding and then things just came out um i also feel like there's been controlling behavior this was in the recent past or current energy like almost wanting to control an outcome um, by words that were said or stories being told. Um, current energy. Not really talking, not moving forward. Interesting. I feel like somebody didn't speak the truth. Um, there's also like... I don't want to say fake celebrating, but a pretending to be happy. So whether this is from you or the person you were dealing with, um, I feel like in your current energy, it's like fake it till you make it. But there's some sort of manipulation going on here, Taurus. Again, could be from your end or somebody else. Tell me um, what else is going on with the current energy. Current energy for Taurus. Current energy for Taurus. What else is going on? There's a new offer. 
new offer, new offer, there's a level up. So if you've had to cut out something from your life, it's going to be replaced by something else that you've been manifesting. So there's definitely a leveling up coming in, whether it's a job, uh, opportunity, a race, a different relationship, just something new, something brand new is coming your way. All right, let's see what else is in your blockage, Taurus. What else is in your blockage area? Um, honestly, it's really doing the hard work, doing the healing, um, third party situation, lies, um, betrayal. Um, I almost want to say, I don't want to say wasting time because no time is really wasted, but um, where have you invested, I think, seven months, seven seven days seven something um seven hours i feel like there's just the blockage is like a time management and then also like the healing okay are we really doing the work and how deep are we going in this work okay all right let's see what's coming towards you in the near future near future energy for taurus near future energy for taurus near future energy for taurus what do we have here for near future energy Ooh, lovers almost came out You'll get to a point of releasing burdens or even responsibilities that did not belong to you or were yours to carry. Um, and then I see travel. I see you like, all right, so what's next? I think you're ready. Um, once you make this decision of leaving something in the past, you're ready to move on with even more options um, in your near future, near future energy. Near future energy. Okay. So, um, there's like commitment. I feel like, what is it that you really want to be single or to be in a committed relationship and then really truly being honest and then also being more aware of what people are offering you. Like, is this something that was coming from them from free will or was there some manipulation going on? Okay. I see strength being built here for you. Leo sign coming through. What else is in the near future for Taurus? Taurus energy. All right. What are we gaining insight? What do we have like, aha, we're getting aha moments on decisions that you have to make, will be making. Are you going on a cruise anytime? Near future energy. Okay. Definitely Scorpio energy, putting an ending to something. So getting the strength to truly ending something that was just I feel like you'll go through this like, okay, I really, this is what I wanted for a committed relationship, but it's not what I, what it turned out to be. So you're going to go through an aha moment. Like, okay, I get it now. Um, I see why kind of situation. And if it's not a relationship, it could be a job as well. Let's see. What do we have from our teal cards for Taurus, Taurus energy. Here we go to right away. We have the unicorn. See the elegant magic of your individuality. You are so awesome and special. You are a unicorn, um, Taurus. And we have the bear. Be sensitive to where you are and reflect on where you would most need healing. We talked about healing the heart chakra, the heart space for you right now. So just uh, take your time. Take your time and do what you need to do to make sure you, you get through those parts, okay? All right, let's see what messages we have here from your angels. What messages do we have from your angels for this reading? So pray that these messages, uh, pray and meditate that these messages get to the people that need to hear them. Of course, we have the answers, yes, and then not the right time. What else do we have here? abundance so again i feel like something is being replaced by something else at this time um so we have let's see not the right time here let's read about this this is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about this answer is not a no just not yet have patience your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect and then right after that is yes. So like ultimately your dream will happen, but not right now. Bravo, the decision you've made is the right one. There's no need to continue to sort through additional options. You know what you what to do and you should move forward with your plans. 
you've made the correct choice for your personal growth and development. However, some decisions can be a true challenge. If the task ahead of you is daunting or even sad, then proceed your, with your plans in a way that is life-affirming and self-loving. Ask your angels to be with you every step of the way and don't hesitate to call upon friends and family for support. Beautiful in your healing time right now, Taurus. And then, of course, we have abundance. We have great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health, or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. All right, Taurus, this was your reading. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We would love to have you. See you soon. Ciao.